Assalamu alaikum. Today I am going to discuss about how to find out the axial ratio of an antenna using CST. So for this we have to open the antenna we designed. Here I clicked on the antenna I have designed it takes some time to open. So before discussed about how to find the axial ratio of an antenna at first I'd like to show the axial ratio of this antenna. Here we see the axial ratio of this antenna and the minimum axial ratio minimum air value is near 0 0.8. So for uh, this purpose uh, to find the axial ratio at first I'd like to delete this value. So to do so I have to go to the result template and delete this value. Later I'll check the value that I'm going to find out. So now I'll remain here in this window and I will select far field and antenna properties here and here I will select far field result and after that this window will come here the directivity constant phi equal to zero is selected already. So you have to do nothing here. Just you have to select all settings. And after that you have to do what is uh, that you have to select uh, single direction and put theta value is equal to zero degree and phi value is equal to zero degree. And more importantly what you have to do is that you have to select broadband otherwise only the single frequency uh, axial ratio at a single frequency will be shown and here I select the directivity and here and after that more importantly you have to select axial ratio here. This is very important if you if you don't select axial ratio here you, you will not find the value of axial ratio. So you have to confirm that you select axial ratio in this point. So after that just press OK. And after that you have to evaluate it. It takes some time so you have to wait. Sometimes so that the axial ratio can be determined. So here is the axial ratio curve. If we look at the curve, this is almost the same curve we see before the start of the simulation. If we look at the minimum value, it is almost 0 0.8, near 0 0.8. So what we need to do is that rename this one. For this, just click once here. And after that, we name it as axial ratio. So here we see it is renamed it as axial ratio. And then another important thing I would like to share is that axial ratio is usually calculated at 3 dB level. So if we check the 3 dB level value, we see that the minimum frequency is 28.6 and the maximum frequency at 3 dB level is 
29.2 so what we have to do is that we have to evaluate x ratio by using the difference between highest frequency and the lowest frequency divided by center frequency so the highest frequency is 29.2 and the lowest frequency is 28.6 so 29.2 minus 28.6 it is around 600 megahertz divided by 29 gigahertz what we get is that 2.07 percent 2.07 so the axial ratio of this antenna is 2 point axial ratio bandwidth of this antenna is 2.07 So the axial ratio of this antenna is 2.07%. This is how the axial ratio of an antenna can be find out using CST. Thank you. Thank you for watching.